please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new. And if you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, today, quick and easy, simple video. We are going to be sublimating on canvases. That's right, you heard me correctly. This is Crafter Square Artist Canvas. I got this from the Dollar Tree for $1. I have a few of them. And what we're going to do is sublimate on them. How we're going to do that, you may ask? This is, it says 8 by 10 They some liars, y'all. This is not 8 by 10 It is 7.9 by 9.9. .9. It's not 8 by 10 but whatever. So it's 8 by 10 So what we're going to do is we are going to use scotch. We are going to use Scotch laminating um, pouches. These are the pouches. Not the adhesive kind. I don't know. You may be able to use that, but these are the pouches. Okay? We can use other ones possibly, but I'm using scotch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this apart. We could cut them, but I'm going to tear them apart. So that. And then what I'm going to do is you can touch. This side is like a rubbery, rougher feel, and this is a smooth, shiny feel, okay? So we are going to take these out, the packages. Once again, I got these from the Dollar Tree for $1. Five and below had some, but they were nine by 11. So the problem with that was that the pouches are eight and a half by 11. So they're nine and um, nine and 12. They were nine and 12 from five and below. That was too large. And you wanna be able to cover the whole thing. So we are going to take, seal it and take the rougher side. Make sure there's no lint and stuff on there. You know, all this stuff, all this stuff is so sensitive. So we're gonna put it on top and we can do one or two things. We can cut it, oh wait. We can cut it now or we could cut it later. We go cut it later. So I'm literally going to put this like this on top. I'm going to put this on the heat press. My heat press is set at 385 and it's set for 10 seconds. It was sitting here for a minute. So it um I set it at a uh, 10 seconds instead of 20 because I don't want it to get too hot. Now, I did do this literally earlier today with the 9 by 12 and I had to go to the store to get the 8 by 10s or 8, 7 point, 9, point, 9, point 9 because it didn't work with the 2 because the lamination paper wasn't long enough. So, I did do this once. Normally, you know, I always do things first on camera but I did do this before and when I say these colors are popping, wait till y'all see it. So, I hope it do it like, do me like it did earlier. So I do have a um parchment paper. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. You know y'all can use parchment paper, butcher's paper, um the other paper, but I'm gonna use the parchment paper. Okay, so I'm gonna cover it up. Y'all want me to come in? Let me scoot y'all in. Okay, so here are the images that I'm going to go ahead and print out. I'm not sure if you knew, but 11 by 17, you can actually um, print two 8 by 10 images. Uh, they fit perfectly. And so the actual um, canvas is literally 
7.9 by 9.9. So 8 by 10, it should be enough inches for it to go all the way around it. So that's perfect. Here is my beautiful daughter here. These are some professional photos she took. You guys know I'm a photographer. I didn't take these though. Uh, Creative Soul took these. Um, and then this cute puppy is Happiness. Both of these, if you look, you see that's 10 inches in height, inches in height, 8 inches in width for both of them. Okay, so going to go ahead and print those out. But let me show you the other images we're going to do. These are the photos that my daughter and I took for the holiday. Shout out to our photographer T. Boydston. Check him out. Put that up there. And then I just have some pretty colorful pictures. I want to test out the color because some of those are what well, the dog one was colorful. but the other ones were you know black and white and dark but i wanted to show you different sides you know really bright and colorful and dark and moody okay so this pretty curly hair girl there and then this saying where it says don't let anyone tell you who you are okay so i'm going to make sure that it is the height is 10. Not 11. It actually should be 11. Eight and a half by 11, y'all. Please, please, please pay attention to that. Information printing is. Make sure you go check out my previous videos because you guys know that I have it on presets and it's already mirrored. Every time you sublimate, you have to mirror. But I have everything on presets so it could be easier. I can literally just go ahead and print. So I'm going to print this. I have the Workforce 7720. So I'm going to print this on my second cassette. See that Epson and then popping colors cassette two. Someone asked me in my previous video what the settings were. Go on my two sublimation for beginner videos. I share that on there. So you can find that out there, how I broke everything down and I'm using a Mac. So remember it's different for different um, computers and things. So mine is set for the Mac. Okay. So now I'm about to go back on over and I'll catch you near my heat press. Ah, so excited. Really quickly, as you'll see later, I had to print this at 8 by 5 by 11. So the 8 by 10 was incorrect. I had to go back and print it larger so it could be over the canvas. So just so you know. Okay, now let's go. Putting the paper open. And maybe I shouldn't let the... Sublimation, I mean the lamination paper sit because it picks up everything. You know, we don't so ignore all my stuff around me. So I'm gonna cover it up. The more it's covered up, the less I have to uh cut later on because I don't want it to look janky. Can y'all see? Okay, I covered it up. I want to cover it up with this. Then I'm going to press. Now, here's the thing. When it gets too hot, it does like bubble up. So, give me a second. Okay. So, this is really hot. But I only did it for 10 seconds. Now, it didn't bubble up because it wasn't on there too, too long. Okay. But with anything with sublimation, you want to be careful because the lint and all that. So, the things. first one had too much lint. So, I did it over. hot but it didn't over hot heat so what i think you want to do is i think you want to as soon as you um take the pieces apart put it on top because if not it let like lint and stuff get in there and mine didn't do that earlier because i just put it right on there so don't work under the heat press i only was doing this because of how i was set up and i did not burn myself but i don't want you to burn yourself so don't do what i do I'm cutting the sides of it. So let me let you see. Woo -hoo -hoo! 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look how cute that is. This is so cute. Can y'all see how good that came out? I need y'all to see. How can I fix this? I need y'all to see. Look at that. Just so you know, I did not make this. I literally got it out of a random Facebook group. So somebody made the graphic. So kudos to whoever made it. I wish I could shout you out. I wish I knew, but kudos to you. Okay, real quick, because I feel like this needed to be bigger to go over the canvas. I'm going to put her, her picture on this mouse pad so I won't waste it because I don't want to put it on there because this should have been bigger. So... Y'all go get the mouse pad tutorial today, too. Be back. Okay, so I put parchment paper on the bottom. Here is the mouse pad. And I'll tell you what the measurements are when I'm recording it back. And then I put the picture, because this is bigger than the mouse pad, it's going to bleed. So I don't want it to mess up my heat press. So I'm going to line it up. Make sure as much as her... Here isn't all not that far. Okay. Uh -oh. You can tape it down if you want to make sure that it doesn't move. Where's my tape? Heat transfer tape from Amazon. Um, see, here's another thing. We got to make sure that it covers it all. It's wide enough. Ain't nobody got time to be messing up this beautiful picture. Right. Oh, Lord, it ain't wide enough. I'm not going to be able to do it on here either because it's going to mess it up. Gotta get low, y'all. Get low, 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 low. Yeah, this. Oh. Uh, I think it's gonna mess up on here, too. Try not to mess up on the other thing. And I don't think it's gonna print right on here. Because it's not wide enough. We just gonna see. I don't think it's gonna work on here either. But we gonna see. And I'm gonna do this for 60 seconds. So it's supposed to be 460 seconds. We gonna leave it at 385 for 60. Yep, it was over, so. It's my baby, so I'm going to keep it. It looks gorgeous, but it needed to be over just a little bit. I could have did it. I didn't know the top part wasn't like that, but look how beautiful that is. Woo -wee -woo. Let me show you what I'm going to do to it, though. Show you what I'm going to do. Now, because this is mine, this looks so beautiful, so if I would have did it bigger... It wasn't perfect, but because this is mine, I got a permanent marker and a, a dry erase marker because it's mine. Not if I was selling somebody, I wouldn't do this.
Only because it's mine. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Voila. Nobody will know except for me and you. But look how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. Yep. So just because it's mine, I wouldn't do this and sell it. But that's a little hat. I hope you can see it. Yep. And I could go over some more if I wanted to. But honestly, it looks good. It looks a little brighter because the light shining on it. But I could go over it a couple more times. But the point remains that I hacked it. Okay? So let me go fix these other things real quick. I wasn't going to show y'all this. But I literally just threw this on here earlier. This is the first one I did. But you see that? That's because it wasn't long enough. But I literally just threw it. Just... And I didn't measure this. I literally just threw it on there and I cut it so I could see how it would look. So this was earlier. I didn't measure it. This was something that was just laying around and I just wanted to try it. You see the colors. Look how good those colors came out. Those colors are popping. Don't look at all the mistakes, but look at these colors. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So let me fix this other stuff. Okay. So here's the pretty girl. I did her eight and a half by 11 so she could be bigger. So we're going to see how this one turn out. We need another perfect one like the puppy. We need another perfect one. And I put it up under here so it could dry. Because this heat will dry the ink so it won't, you know. And even though the paper dries it pretty good, this just makes sure it's set in. I mean, even though, yeah, the paper dries itself pretty good, this just makes sure it's set in. So I'm gonna show you. If you turn it this way, it's easier to cut it off. So you can just slide it across. Of course, but when I wasn't recording, there it go. When I wasn't recording, it was give, doing it perfect. You know how that goes. As soon as you press record, it's like a baby. I want to try to play it. Oh, my baby can do this. Do it, baby. Do it. The baby don't do nothing. As soon as you press record, everything want to mess up. Put your paper on the bottom. Okay, so I'll put the butcher paper down. I'm going to cut around here. Because she's bigger than the image, you have to put the butcher paper down to protect the heat press. Okay. So I have her. I'm going to press her at 385, 385 for 30 seconds. Okay. So there she goes. She's so cute. Just put her on top. Make sure she's hanging off both, all four sides. Taper if you want. So 
so she won't move and ghost once you have her where you want her. Cover with your parchment paper, bushman paper, whatever. Parchment paper, butcher paper. Fingers crossed. While we wait on that, let's look at this cute little puppy again. Look how cute that puppy is. And this pretty little girl. Now this is what I've been waiting for. Ooh, ooh, this is what I've been waiting for. It's super hot. So this is it, y'all. This is the one. Look at that. Yes, sir. Now that's how it's supposed to look. This is gorgeous. All right. So I still think I want to do a couple more because I want to get them all together. So I'll be back. All right. So I'm letting this dry just a little bit. I'm going to take it from up under there. I'm opening up this board. Canvas rather. open it I'm putting it right on and I'm doing this to prevent any lint or dust or anything to get on it so as soon as I take it off tear it apart I put it right on to try to prevent it from getting messed up I'm gonna put this one in a safe place so it won't get any lint or anything on it we're going to cover this up. Press it. For 10 seconds at 385. While we do that, we're going to look how good this printed out. This is bigger, so we're going to cut up. Nope, 10 seconds up. Oh, it looked like something was on it. I ain't got time for this to mess this picture up. Because this picture has white spots in it, so it could possibly mess it up. If it was all color, it would be fine. But I'm going to have to make sure that I don't know. So now we're going to cut this picture. Okay, y'all, here's a secret. Today is December 31st. I recorded this December 30th, and we're going to start the new year off right, okay? We are going to be giving Do Dream On's 
first giveaway. So if you watch this far and if you're here, the first person to comment, Shanita, you go girl. Yes, yes, yes. Hype me up. If you comment that below the first person, you will win a surprise sublimation package that I'm putting together for you. Okay. It's a secret. It's only for people who really actually watch. We're going to start off 2021 with some giveaways. So great luck. So we cut that picture. We're also going to cut around it. So two things I found out. Try to get it to go straight and you can lift it over on the bottom and just try to see that? That's why that slicer will probably work. I should, I'm going to make sure I get it tomorrow. I wanted to get it. It was at the dollar store. It was a craft cutter and some slicer or something. See? Just slide it across there. Then if some of them are janky, you could go back around it. Just to make sure they're neat. You could always fix those things a little bit later. Okay, and that's the most important thing. You want to slide it across so that it'll be nice and straight. If you got to come back later, that's fine. But at least it'll be a, see that? Straight line. Okay. So now, I want to see where I line this picture up. Excuse me. Put the parchment paper at the bottom so it can protect it. Cause this is larger so let's see here Both sides now. Cover it up with this parchment paper or butcher paper. And 30 seconds. Whew. See how it turned out. Moment of truth. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I got it now. I got it. Mm, 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 mm. Boom, 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 boom. I got it. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, we in there now. We in there like swimmer, baby. Perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. Because I'm actually going to put this up. This one is for me. So I wanted it to be perfect. And it is beautiful. Do you see these colors popping? Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. There we go. We in there, baby, like swimwear. Practice makes perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. I don't think y'all understand how happy I am. This is beautiful. Oh. Okay. All right, y'all. This is happy. All right, one more for the road. I'm going to do this one. I'm not going to show y'all the process, but y'all see the, ooh, the finished product. Just because I just have to. <laughs> Sucky, sucky, nah. Mm, wait a minute, look at this. 
is how the colors pop for me. <laughs> now, with this particular um, one, you see like the T and um, it's kind of cut off at the top, but that ain't even a point. The point is the colors pop. I got these from the dollar store. Dollar Tree, to be exact. And that's what I'm going to be sitting so on. So here are the finished products. And we can't forget the mouse pad. And that's a wrap. Okay, y'all, I learned a lot in this particular video. I hope you guys did too. I absolutely fell in love with the process of sublimating on the canvases because these colors, I just really hope that you can see how much these colors pop. They are absolutely beautiful and the possibilities are endless. You can literally use this for um birthday presents birthday gifts um decor for your home the possibilities are endless there's also something else i want to let you know you can get lamination paper and rolls so that's what i'm going to do for the 9 by 12 i'm not taking them back i'm going to order rolls from amazon and i'm going to cut them out probably with my um silhouette or cricket if cricket allow probably silhouette in that size so that it can be perfect the exact perfect size and i might actually do that for those 7.9 9.9 mm -hmm. talking about some 8 by 10 when they 9.9 and 7.9 but whatever oh and i did say that i was going to go ahead and order the lamination rolls from amazon so that i could use this um board because honestly look at the texture of this canvas this canvas is actually a better canvas than the dollar tree canvas. well duh shanita so, you see that? <laughs> it's really really good i can't wait to use more of these canvases because i really fell in love with it and i'm gonna actually order that from amazon today okay so yeah well that's a wrap for real this time y'all <laughs> i just want to thank you so much for your time please like comment share and subscribe i appreciate you guys for caring about little old me over here and what i'm doing or uh, whatever so thank you so much for everything i appreciate you and y'all be safe out there you hear bye Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.